Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So it's day 26 of our death mode let's play. My throat is still very painful so I'm not going to be doing too much talking today. Uh, but what I actually want to work on is actually farming the events. I said I was going to do that off camera, I've decided to do it on camera. And then we're also going to make a bunch of upgrades today which is going to be really interesting to see. We're probably going to fight Bumblebird. Or maybe even Yaren. I'm not exactly sure. So I've been doing a lot of research on what accessories I want to use and what weapons I want to use. And I'm going to kind of unravel that as the episode goes on. I don't want to give too much away. But I feel like I have a nice clear path for what I want to do. And I'm excited about that. So the first thing I personally need to do is I need to buy some events. So there is a new buff to the moon event and the frost moon event. The pumpkin moon rather. Uh, and I need to actually do both of those because they actually drop a new item that I'm going to use to make most of my upgrades. And it's also going to allow me to craft the Dreyden's Forge. So the first thing I need to do is figure out where on earth I actually buy the events from. Do I buy them from here? Maybe from here? See, all of them are actually spread out across various NPCs. So some will sell, like, events. Some will not sell events. Like, this one sells only ones in the, uh, in the jungle. So I'm guessing that it's the wizard then. No. What am I missing? I know one of them sells it. I'm probably just being a, uh, a moron. I've probably already seen it and I've gone past it. What about you, Clothier? What do you sell? Nothing. Okay. I actually ended up killing my Clothier yesterday while fighting the DOG. It was pretty sad because his name was James. So I'm pretty good about that. Alright, which one sells the Pumpkin Moon? Why am I getting this so wrong? Unless there's an NPC that I don't have that sells it. Or I'm a moron. Is it you, Dryad? Is it you? It is you. Oh. Why did I not notice that? Okay. Right, so I'm going to set it to night now. And we'll do the... Uh, the f oh. Let's not do a Blood Moon. Let's do, a far, let's do one without a Blood Moon. So let's get fully ready. And I think for the fight, I'm going to use my Amputator. Because it leaves uh, flames on the floor and stuff. And then let's think about where we're going to do this. I might do it up here. Okay. Let's start with this event. Okay. So this shouldn't be too, too hard. It is upgraded, yes. But I think the trick is, like, just get it out of the way as quick as possible anyway. Let's see if we can actually show off this uh, this new material. It might, it might drop from the enemies or it might drop from the... Uh, the little mini bosses. Do you want, for real, I actually can't remember. The only problem with this is, is essentially what you have to do is you have to do this like hundreds of times. Because to actually spawn in the uh, the final boss, Supreme Calamus, you need about 2,000 of whatever uh, new item this drops. I believe it's called like endothermic and exothermic cores or whatever. I just can't remember the exact name. But you may, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, yeah, you get these from bosses. Right, well I am going to farm away. It's going to take me a little while, as you can probably imagine. I'm going to use some squiddies, and I'm going to use my uh, my throwing setup, and I'll let you know when I actually find something of use. Okay, so what I needed is nightmare fuel. It actually drops on the pump kings, so that's what I've got to kill. But yeah, with the event being buffed, it's quite a challenge, actually. Now, the only problem with this is, is I don't like the uh, events all that much. I don't really do them all that often, so... To come back later in the game and actually have to farm them, it, it sucks for me because that's not what I would personally want to be doing. Uh, but I am going to farm them. I'm going to farm as much as I possibly need. I need quite a bit of it. So, yeah, I guess I just literally have to start grinding for it. But uh, I'll see you after I've collected a bunch more and I've not died like a moron multiple times. All right. So at the end of the night, I actually got 111 pieces. So... I think this might actually be enough to just do a few little things. So you only need 20 for that. You need 10 for the for the dragon fruit. You need, let's see, what else? I want this quiver. You need 20 for that. So to be honest, that actually might be enough. I might actually be able to make some good stuff. Well, you need 14 for that, 15 for that, and 16 for that. Okay. Yeah, not bad. It was actually, yeah, it was, it was actually quite a challenge. I won't lie, but it was a fun challenge. You know, nonetheless, I liked it. I found that one of the best things for me to do personally was not to rely on a Zen potion to like speed it up. Instead, actually taking it slower worked out better for me because it allowed me to actually manage the uh, the pumpkins instead. 
because I believe if I had a Zen, I would rush through it real quick, and then I wouldn't actually have like time to kind of just you know take a moment to breathe, heal up. So I'm gonna do the pump, the frost moon now. So we're gonna make it nighttime. I'm gonna spawn this in. Now what we want to do is get through these uh these fast these beginning layers real quick because I'm guessing that it's the ice queen that actually uh spawns the rest. So I'm just gonna keep bashing away at these enemies and I'll let you know how much uh endothermic we get or exothermic. I can't remember. I imagine endothermic, right? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so I actually have hundred and seventy two pieces and I considered I was like, you know what? I'm going to end it there for farming because I can do the rest off camera, but now I've got everything that I actually need, need. So one of the things I actually want to get before I forget is some swiftness potions like so. And then now I need to actually, uh, well, I need to get making my new Draydon's Forge. So one of the things I'm going to have to do is take this out and take this out, I believe, put those in there. And then I should be able to make, and I'm guessing here, Draydon's Forge. Now the only reason why I don't know if I can actually make it is because I'm not exactly sure the exact components. So let's just to be double sure. Forge. So you need, oh you do need the anvil. Right, okay. So I can do that. So one of the things I actually did by the way guys is I actually farmed out the OG because I found it quite easy to be honest, so I thought, you know what, go ahead and actually uh, and do a little bit more. So I did, I found it out. Draydon's Forge, okay. So now I can make upgrades for a lot of things. I can make the, if I was to put this inside of here, one second. If I was to put that inside of there, I should be able to make the Endless Quiver upgrade. Yeah, it's called the Element Quiver. So it does 15% increased range damage and critical strike chance, and it has a chance to instantly kill normal enemies. So that's cool. So I wanted to make this because I thought, if this is already doing 15% increased damage, I thought that would probably be a little bit of a better fit. Because what it's actually doing is, you know, increasing our range damage. And I thought with this, this sulfuric acid cannon, I really wanted to see what I could actually do with this. Because I had such fun actually fighting DOG with it. I wanted to see what would happen if you stuck it onto some other bosses. So it was kind of like a setup I wanted to try out. Right, so I need to now make the upgrade to this and to this. I don't remember the exact names here. So I'm going to go for Valor, maybe? I can't remember the name of this. Okay, so this is the upgrade to this. This is the Elysian Tracers. So that's obviously a good upgrade. And we're going to have to reforge that at some point. I'm just trying to remember exactly how you make the shield. I can never remember the name of it. Oh, show all recipes. Show available recipes. Now do equipment. Let's see. What's this? Ooh. Right. I don't see it here. So these are all the things I can make. That's pretty interesting, actually. Okay. Okay. Let's go for. Let's get my shield back out because I can never remember. I can never remember the name of it. As guardian, right? So this is one that I've had in the past. This combines with something else, right? Yes, to make the as guardian a gis. So I should be able to make that because I've got phantoplasm and I've got cosmolite bars. So I don't know what's holding me up, unless I just spelt it wrong. As guardian. As Guardian. Oh, it's there. Oh, it looks. Ah, all right. Okay. Looks different than how I imagined. Right. So, plus 100 max life and increased life regen. Used to ram enemies. Pressing N activates all buffs. 12% damage reduction while in liquid. Increased defense by 10 when below 10% life. Cool. So, let's equip that. And now we have a bunch of awesome upgrades. So, one of the things I'm going to have to do is actually reforge them. So let's see how expensive this is going to be. This is probably going to be mad, right? Free Platinum. Okay. Warding. I'll take Warding. I usually, what I do is, I'm sure you've noticed this, but what I'll do is I'll put it in 
And I'll take menacing or warding, depending on what it is. So that's menacing. What about you? There's always one that takes forever. Mm, okay, warding. Alright, cool. So now I have a pretty decent setup. One that I'm pretty happy with. I've got a little throwing thing. I could actually make the the throwing upgrade, couldn't I? What's it called? You use nanites to make it. Actually, I'm not going to be able to do that because I've got no NPCs to buy nanites off. <laughs> right, never mind. Right, so let's have a little look at how you actually spawn Bumblebird. So you use a bird pheromones. Burb pheromones. Burb pheromones. Okay. The good thing is, if I actually beat this first time, I'll actually have the possibility of just buying these again because they actually use a uh, luminite, I believe. So let's go give that a go. Ugh, man, getting my recordings done nice and early today because I thought, considering my throat was in such pain, I thought if I got it out the way early, it would feel better. But I, I'm like understanding now, like I'm trying to get used to it. I'm understanding now that the more I talk, the literally the more it hurts. But the good thing is, is if I get it out the way in the morning, it might go down by the end of the day. Because there is another video I actually wanted to make for Chippy Gaming. And uh, hopefully you, you might see it. But it's about uh, Terraria Otherworld. And stuff like that. But I'm sure you'll see it. Right, so. Let's see here. Let's. I've not fought this boss in a very, very long time. I actually can't remember what it is. It's a mini boss if I remember correctly though. Okay, let's see. What are you like? I actually can't see it. <laughs> Where's it gone? Oh, it's down here. I legit don't know how this goes. <laughs> Alright, why is it just on the floor? Right, let's use my rage here. What are you doing, Burb? What is going on with you? You're a weird boss. I'm expecting it to get a lot harder. What's this gonna- if you're just trailing the floor, can I just use this? Alright, you're not trailing the floor anymore, okay. So I'm guessing you're switching up your attack. I'm alright with that. Where are you? Alright, you're down on the floor again. Okay, I'm ready for the real fight now, guys. <laughs> what even is this? Is this a joke fight? <laughs> oh look, I got hit. Oh no. You best not kill me just randomly at the end. I'll be so annoyed if you randomly get like a lot of health in the final like 5%. You're like one of those many accessories that are like, if you've got 10% life, you'll get a big defense boost. What is even going on with this fight? Oh, there you go. So that's Bumblebub. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. What an interesting fight. He says through gritted teeth. Red lightning container permanently makes your rage do 20% more, 80% more in... Oh, hell yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Open this up. We got a rogue slash and some... Infulgent feathers? A fulgent? Infulgent? Fulgion. I don't think I've ever heard that word before. I don't even know what it means. I'm sure it's an actual word, not one made up, but I don't even know what it means. Okay, that seems alright. I'm probably not going to use that. What do you make, though? Oh, you make dragon fruit and you make silver armor. Hmm. So I definitely need to make dragon fruit. Oh, I need to make elderberries at this point. And I need this. So, how many do I need? I need a little bit more, right? One sec. Let's let's put that back in. Where'd it go? Yeah, I need to do that one more time. Actually, I, I probably need to do that two more times. So I'm going to be working on that. Let's see. Um, well, I wanted to buy the summons, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Burb pheromones. Yeah, I don't want it using up my Cosmolite. Oh, it only uses one, I guess. Alright, let's do it two more times. Alright, so I'm going to go farm that out, guys, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I farmed it out two more times. I actually did die to one, though, but it's because I just laid on the floor and was trying to, like, I don't know. I was trying to mug it off. It mugged me off instead. So, we now have the equipment, I believe, to actually make the, uh, well, we can make a few things. First off, I'm going to make the elderberry. 
Very nice. Go on, give me that upgrade. Why can I not take this up? Have I already had it? No. No way. I completely forgot making this. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, man. What a waste. What an absolute waste. I genuinely forgot making that. So let's make silver armor. So, piece one. What was that? That was the armor. Right. Helmet. Awesome. And now the leggings. Great. Okay. So, let's see. So, there's two types of endgame armor in Calamity. The silver armor, which is for people that are a little bit more confident and don't want to grind. And then there's God Slayer, which is for people that need more defense but fancy a grind. I don't fancy a grind, I'm going to be honest with you guys. So, here it is. Let's do the comparison that we usually do. So, we've got 258 defense before we had 230. And then let's look at this, for example. Let's take this one. 426 to 427. Not bad. And the set bonus is you're immune to almost all debuffs, reduces all damage taken by 5%, all projectiles spawn healing leaf orbs on enemy hit, max run speed and acceleration boosted by 5%. So there you go. Right, now we need to make the final upgrade to health. And I'm so sad because I literally just wasted so much. Right, I need some planty mush. Right, so have I got a NPC that will actually sell me a dungeon teleport potion? No. <laughs> okay. Right, so I'm going to have to go and get that now. So I'm just going to work my way there very slowly. Wait, wait, why am I so slow? Is it because of a... Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that was so dumb. Alright, I grabbed a ton of plenty mush. So I should be able to make more life fruit. So yeah, I'm going to need life fruit for it. I can't remember exactly the name of it, so I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to make the life fruit and then say, right. Okay, actually, let's put that in there. Right, life fruit. All right, so how many have I got? I've got two. I need a lot more. I believe it's 15. Let's have a little look at that, though. I can't believe I made that elderberry before. All right, it's called dragon fruit. Oh, so I'm going to have to do this a few more times, and then I need solar fragments. I don't necessarily know if I have solar fragments. I'm going to need 20 of those. Oh, man. I don't feel like that's worth it at the minute. I feel like it might be worth it to actually make some new weapons and stuff instead. Let's have a little look here. So, let's see. We have... This is a throwing weapon. That's kind of cool. Oh, very nice. What's that? Cosmic Ematalizer. e Ematerializer. Okay. <laughs> it sounds so dumb sometimes reading these out. It's quite funny actually. Vivid clarity sounds pretty cool. A lot of cool little weapons in here. You know what? Can I actually go ahead and make the uh, the egg yet? The egg. Let's see. What are you called and what are you made of? Yaren, the dragon egg. Right. Let's let's look this up. Dragon egg. Right, so it's made of 15 of these, 10 of these, and 10 of these. So I probably don't have the feathers, so I'm going to do the feathers one more time. Actually, I'm going to do this a few more times. I'm going to do this like three more times, just so I can actually get the uh, the things that I need. Actually, we'll go four more times. And let's actually check my fragments real quick. I haven't done the... Um, I've been buying sigils instead of actually doing the event. Oh, you can make fragments. So, let's see. Solar fragments... All right, I need it to be up to, uh, what was it, 50? Okay, cool. Right, so I'm going to get working on that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just farmed it out four times, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to start binning these, because I've got enough of them already. Yeah, I've got enough of pretty much everything now. So, I'm going to keep these, because these upgrade to Omega Potions. So, let's put these away. Oh, I actually had a bunch of swiftness anyway. All right, okay. So, one, two, three, four. Let's see. Scythe. Ooh. Ooh, okay. You look kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That's quite a high DPS. What's this? That's quite a high DPS, but you're also uh, using a spear, so... Right. Okay, well, I'm actually full. Oh, my inventory... My, literally, my, my thing is full. Do you know what it is? It's because over the series, I've got so many multiple items that I just can't be bothered to get rid of. 
Look at that. That is a lot. I'll tell you what we can do. If we go into potions, we can start clearing out some of these because this is just going to free up so much space. So yeah, so that means we are now ready to do Yaren. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what weapon I want to take into Yaren. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do like a jokey first attempt where we're going to actually... Well, we're going to try hard, essentially, but I know that I'm not going to win. So it's almost like a jokey first attempt because I'm going into it with the expectation of I'm learning how to do the fight. So let's just clear out some of these. Right, that cleared up a good amount of space, at least at least for now. Right, so this golden eye is actually pretty cool. I feel like I want to uh, I want to reforge this. I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to sell her some of these because <laughs> I tried to sell silver coins because otherwise it's going to get annoying. Right, so let's see. Let's make the egg first off. So we've got the dragon egg. That is something that we now have forever. And then let's make the um, the upgrade to let's see this this is it it's called dragon fruit i keep forgetting the name of it let's see if we can make it now all right we can't make dragon fruit now let's see just double check why that is i don't know whether it's because we don't have enough of these or because oh it's the life fruit isn't it hey i just remembered life fruit one two three four five all right let's see if we can make it now dragon fruit awesome why can't I take it? Oh, there you go. It's weird sometimes, the fact that like it takes such a long time to do. Right, so let's go give it a good first attempt. I don't know what weapon to use. I wanted to use the, uh, the sulfuric acid cannon because I think that would be the most funniest to use. Because it is quite a cool little thing. Right, we'll go superior on that. But then I also kind of think this would be quite cool to use as well. Because look at that, that is ace. Right, let's see. I, I'm going to stop the rain. Yeah, that is that is cool. Right, let's head there now. So, like I said, little fun first attempt. I don't know if it will go too well. Right, let's have a little look here. Right, we want to turn off that buff because I want the additional movement speed. Right, so this is my arena, by the way. I, I never actually spoke about it, but this is the arena. So buff up. Get ready. We have 1,315 health. We also have 650 mana. Okay, let's see how we do. Remember, I haven't actually... Ooh, okay. I haven't actually fought this fight in a, in a very, very long time. Alright, that weapon is kind of trash. <laughs> ooh, okay. Oh, man, this is going to be hard. I like this already, though. Okay. Oh, do you know going to be hard? Ascending. Like, actually building up speed is going to be hard. Oh, man. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. This is cool. I like this fight already. My jokey first weapon is doing pretty well. I love... Oh, man. Can we just talk about this real quick? I love that those tornado spawning devices... They don't actually deal contact damage until the tornado has been around a little bit longer. That is such a good change. That is such a fair change. I'm actually really happy with that. So it's quite obvious that our weapons are a little bit naff. But I want to go do it again. Just for another little joke. Another little bit of fun. And then tomorrow can be the episode where we actually try and uh, take on Yaren properly. Okay. What weapons did we use? Uh, let's... Let's go with that. Let's also get some squids in. Just for the laughs. Get some squiddy diddies in. Okay, let's regen all that health. We don't have the additional buff because our rage is not full. Okay. What are you like against it? I know that I don't have the perfect... Yeah, uh, you know what's gonna... Yeah, I, I'm beginning to see what is gonna be hard for me personally. And it's gonna be uh, actually knowing when to ascend and when not to. Also, these flames are obviously very hard as well. This is a cool little test though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, look at that. So... Oh god, we got kind of slaughtered there. But yeah, you see there was a little projectile that hit me. 
and spawned a, a tornado. I just love that that does not deal damage to you anymore. It's so much better. I'm going to give it one more go just for just to see. I'm enjoying this. I haven't actually looked at any guides or anything for this fight. All I did was look up an arena because I needed to know the dimensions and Leviathan was nice enough to help me out with that. Okay. Let's slay some beasts. I'm going to swap over to this because I'm clearly not using my ranged. Actually, ah, oh, but then again. But then again, I feel like the range would be really cool to beat it with the, uh... <laughs> to beat it with this. Okay. Let's regen that health. Let's spawn it in. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just able to see it already. One of the biggest things for me is going to be flying up and down. I know it sounds silly, but I can just kind of tell. But that's it. It's a learning process, right? You have to, uh, you have to learn how to do these fights. Can't expect to do it on the first go or like the tenth go. It is Yaren at the end of the day, and it is death mode. Which, as you guys know, I love that argument. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going to end it there, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm quite excited to do this tomorrow. You still have chance, and this is one of the reasons I did this. You still have time to recommend weapons and little stuff like that. I am going to make the uh, the throwing upgrade accessory anyway, the one that uses nanites, so rule that off. But uh, other than that, it's up to you. Right, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.